Hey, what is up everybody? This is Mark and today I'm going to teach you how to adjust slots from one size to another using Affinity Designer. And in this case, I'm going to use one of my files called the Monogram Lantern Design. And in this case, of course, we've got the letter A here. This is going to be really easy, so don't be intimidated by this at all. The first thing you're going to do before you start editing anything, of course, is you're going to measure your material with your calipers because you need to know the size that your material is. So do that now. Pause the video if you haven't done that yet. Go measure your material and come back. All right, so hopefully you're back. What we're going to do now is we're going to select, we're going to start over here on the right side, and we're going to work on the base and then the top piece of the design, and then we'll move over to the side pieces next. This is going to be really easy. So first of all, when you click on it, you're going to notice that it's going to select all, of course, all but this slot over here because the designer was a doofus. That was me. Typically, I will combine all these into a single object or shape, and a lot of people will think that they need to ungroup, and that's actually not what it is in this case. In Illustrator, it's Release Compound Path. In Inkscape, it's Break Apart. And in Affinity Designer, it's Separate Curves. So what you're going to do is select this, right-click, and go down to Geometry and Separate Curves right here. And when you do that now, now that you click on the uh, slot again, you're going to see that now you can select it. So the next step is when you select it, you'll see in your transform panel, for me, it's way down on the right side. You may have yours somewhere else. But when you click that, you're going to see that the width is 0.201, which is what I have it originally. And we're going to change it to 0.12. That's, that's the thickness that I'm going to use for this example. But you're going to change it to whatever your material is, okay? So all you do is just select down here and you go 0.12 and you can hit the tab. And now you see that it's changed. So that's really easy. We're just going to work our way around these real quick. Now remember, of course, that this one we're going to change to height not uh, because it's oriented the other way. So height is 0.12. And then this guy here, width, 0.12. And the last one is, you guessed it, 0.12. And then we can move down to the other piece right here. You kind of pick up the pattern here, 0 0.12, 0 0.12. Oh, and for some reason I grouped that. Uh, I mean, I connected all that, so I'm going to separate curves. See, <laughs> sometimes I get a little sloppy, unfortunately. Doesn't actually matter, but uh, just good to know. And then here's the last one at 0.12. Makes sense so far? So again, you're going to select the item and then right click, go to geometry and separate curves so you can get to those. So we're all done with those two pieces already. Remember, remember that these four squares are the feet, so you don't need to mess with those at all. So those are done. And now all we need to do is change this tab right here and this tab right here so that they're not too long and stick out the top because this is made for quarter inch material. And when you change to 1 8 this is going to stick out if you don't change it. So here's the deal. We're only going to have to do one of these. So I'm going to select, um, I'm going to select these other ones and delete them because we're just going to edit one of them and then copy paste three more times. So no big deal. So here's what I'm going to do. There's a couple ways to do this, but the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to zoom in here so you can see it easy. And then I'm going to take a square over here on the left and I'm going to draw out a square and the length doesn't really matter right now. So I'm going to draw out a square. And then I'm going to select the square and go over here to the transform panel down here again. And I'm going to make the width of it 0.12. And the, again, the, the uh, length doesn't really matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, whoops, sorry. I'm going to take this shape. I'm going to put it right on top of this other rectangle here, lined up just like that. All right. And uh, let me... Let me actually uh, throw a stroke on here real quick just to make it a little easier to see. And I'm going to line it up just with this end of the, this is actually the bottom of this, uh, this panel. And that's going to give me a uh, place to, to look at when I change the length of this tab. All right. So you'll see in just a moment. So now that I've got it lined up right there, I'm going to go to the, this arrow here. And now I'm going to be able to select just this one node right here. And then I'm going to hold shift down and select the bottom one right here. 
Now that I've got those both selected in blue, I can drag them toward this and I'm gonna hold shift so it stays straight. I'm gonna put it right on top of that right there. So now I know that I've made this tab the right length because now it's 0.12 long. See that? And then all I'm gonna do is take my rectangle over here and, uh, wow, so sorry I am having uh, trouble today. Uh, it's always fun to have trouble like that when you are um, recording, it's great. And I'm gonna line it up over here get it a little closer just like this and then of course I'm gonna go back here select the nodes this one right here and this one at the bottom I'm gonna hold shift down so I can select them both and then start pulling it in here and hold shift so it stays straight and right there and now I can go back here and I can delete uh, the rectangle I was using. Now I can zoom back out and guess what? It is all ready to go. All I got to do is select this. I'm going to copy and paste and uh, now now I'm going to have uh, four of these to use uh, ready to go. In fact I'm just going to go ahead and, and select these two and then copy and oh sorry copy and paste and you see that I've got four. So we are good to go. Just like that. And that's all there all it takes to edit this from quarter inch to eighth or whatever uh, thickness your material is. Of course, let me just say the obvious. If mine, if my document is set up for 0 0.201 and yours is say 0.24, the exact same method applies. Okay. It's gonna be really easy. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, let me know. I'd love to see what you guys make. But until then, as always, I'll see you in the next one.